Good morning. Um, why am I saying good morning and not guten morgen? It's because um, I decided to just try one video in English. It's a thing that comes up all the time and I'm always thinking, oh, I'd love to share this video with this and that person or this and that group and then it, they're all just in German. And if you are German and you just follow me, then I'm so sorry. Um, I hope you understand and that you still want to follow me. I'm, I will just try this out. This will not mean that um, all of my videos will be in English now. This is just a try, but I really feel um, that I should do it in English and I just really want to try out. So um, yeah, if you are German and you've been following me before and all of my videos were in German, I really hope that you're not mm, disappointed and fed up and that you will still follow me and maybe it will even be good for your English to hear some English once in a while I don't know <laughs> I'm sitting in my teepee I have my uh, my very own teepee because I'm at the Ooh La La festival this is uh, one of the musicians backstage teepees and I, I had the most amazing time and I want to give you a little tour of the festival just before I leave so good morning to the world actually it's not really morning it's uh, about lunchtime and just had lunch and there's my little dog barking as always these days she really started barking so much um yeah i'm just showing you um how beautiful it is i am in um close to Enschrede, and these are all the the teepees where the musicians are staying it's really a lot of fun and they are beautiful and i can stand up when i get changed and um, I had the most beautiful festival. Everyone is packing up. I was meaning to show you around earlier, but I didn't because it was so beautiful here. Oh, I love it. And I'm just, ah, oh, my face hurts because I'm smiling so much. I'm just so insanely happy. Um, I had two concerts this weekend. Both of them were super different. The first concert I did completely alone. I told you the story in my last um, video, which was still in German. And it was magical. Maybe I can show you the room now. And um, the other concert um, I did with Quinton yesterday in the circus tent, which is actually not there anymore. It was here, they're taking it down. And it was amazing concert in the in the circus tent. This is the yurt and I went to a very strange and beautiful workshop in this tent here and um, well this whole festival is just decomposing now. Um, there's a, this is a mandala flower of life and um, yeah it was absolutely um, amazing. I really enjoyed. There's a lot of kids running around, a lot of free dogs, there's a lot of singing and campfire and smiles and hugs and there's this whole circus theme. So this circus tent we played in yesterday but also there's a lot of weird installations that are almost gone now. Oh damn it, I wanted to show you, I will show you as much as I can. See this here was, a, was like a circus happening. Hi. Um, do you see these these things here and also that it was like a <laughs> it was like a thing they built it here and you could just um it was like these these scooters that you put money in and then you can just bump into each other in these tiny cars it was that but you'd have have to walk with your feet like you were sitting on like a rolling chair and and, and walk with your feet but you'd have this cushion around you so you could bump into it and it was really fun <laughs> And there's a lot of beautiful clothes here. I spent a lot of money. No, actually, not so much. Just about, just about a little bit. Woohoo! Hello. Um, no, I well, I bought two blouses. One, I will show you maybe later. One, um, one ethnic, uh, two ethnic blouses. One white one, and one um, a golden one. And they were really not cheap at all. There's kind of like a cheap flea market thing here and they were just seven euro a piece. So I really wanted them. And I know I just recently sold all my clothes for my adventure, but I really needed that. There's a massage going on and drumming and there's locked up kids. <sighs> And people live here, they organize this festival. Uh, this, there's a, a dance thing going on. And maybe there's nobody in the room. Oh, perfect, it's empty. 
because I want to show you the place where I played. Come on, Lily, come on. I want to show you this because this is where I played my solo concert, and I don't know if you know, but this was my very first real solo concert. And it was super spontaneous. I didn't expect to get this much of a solo spot because I was I um, wanted to play with Quinton, but he could only come late, just shortly before the concert. And then I was offered this whole spot, and suddenly I was like, "Oh, I have to play alone! Oh my god!" And it's just this beautiful room here with this old staircase, and it was night. It was like a midnight concert, and all these people were just laying here on carpets and on pillows and just enjoying, and. Um, it was absolutely magical. And there was a woman selling beautiful dresses and she didn't sell a single one on the first day and she was really sad about it because she just started this business and she just came back from India to sew them all with um, some Indian women. And she has a dress which I really fell in love with. It's a floor length yellow um, dress with long sleeves, really beautiful. I might show you later. And um, yeah, I, it was really expensive. So I, I said to her, I really want it, but I don't have enough money. And then I thought um, maybe I can get a huge discount if if I advertise it for her. So um, I put it on, she sold it to me for a lot less. And I put it on at night and I said, um, yeah, you, you should go to this to this woman. Um, she she's she has these beautiful dresses. If you like one, then you can get it. And then all day long she was selling dresses because everyone wanted one because she was kind of hidden and, and nobody could see um, that she had all these nice dresses because she was like in a hidden part of the festival. So I'm really glad now everyone is walking around with these dresses and it's really cool that uh, her mood went up because she thought she would uh, go home and not have sold anything and now she sold like so many dresses isn't this room amazing yeah it's good to have a memory of it this is where it happened and then this is oh, this was on friday night and then on saturday yesterday night with with quinton in the in the tent come on husband tent. yes and this was the entry of it well, um, there's nobody sitting here now anymore, of course. These, these, are, these are like little installations for theater, like really circus-like. And on this bus, um, there was a ticket sale and you can see all the artists. I also have a poster. Where is it? Oh, it's here. The unforgettable Prendella Canada. Ooh la la. Um, I really want this bus. I love it. Um, I was told yesterday a story about this bus. Um, it was a couple, I don't really know how they got to India, but they were in India and, and they bought this bus. And then they um, made, a, made a, a page about it on the internet and they called it Bring Me Home or something. And then you could um, donate money for them to drive all the way from India back to Holland. And then as a thank you, uh, your name would be written on the bus. So that's really cool. Right now it's just a, a ticket house and there's my amp in it because I'm almost going home. <sighs> yeah, and there is all these beautiful um, creations that this lady is making. She's making beautiful coats, like a mixture of all sorts of ethnic, um, yeah, ethnic cultures. And it's like super, with a lot of mirrors and embroidery and it's very cool. Pancake lady and some kind of band playing. Okay. Interesting. I love this festival. Yesterday, uh, there was a photo shoot of a naked couple here. They were doing some Tantra and they got their picture taken. That was funny. Uh, what else can I show you? Uh, so um, I show you something really beautiful which I discovered before I show you the crazy people who I love. Uh, yesterday I had the debut of my um, of my song which I which I've written really newly the Regenwurmretter song and. I think I told you in the video yesterday already, but everyone was singing along. It was so beautiful. <laughs> so I discovered this 
piano here, which I like so much. So it's really broken, and uh, and it's just in the rain, and it's out of tune so much, but it sounds so magical. I played a song of mine yesterday here called La Danse des Parapluies, and it just sounded so beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, and Mouge is running around here so freely. Hi. Oh, can you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I just got a hug from the cook. He's making amazing food. Really, really good. Three times a day. He's cooking. And this morning I also got breakfast by my tent. I, I, I am having the loveliest friends here. And these people are just so open-minded and so nice you cannot even imagine and everyone is looking you in the eye and there's a lot of hugging going on and music and drumming and these people some of them are really aged but you can't see it they look so young their eyes are so sparkling <laughs> I will go pack now because I will leave to Germany now. Um, I will keep you updated what I will do there because it involves my album. I have to do some things and I am very excited to let you know there's a lot of things happening and I will take you with me. Please, I would be so happy if you would write um, in the comments if you enjoy this video being in, in English. Do you mind at all? Would it be really bad? It would mean a lot for me if I could do them in English. First, it's really natural for me because I speak English all the time and then secondly, I think I could just reach a lot more people and all, some of my friends could watch it too who would really appreciate it to be in English. So just if it's not so much effort for you just please write underneath that it's okay for you or also let me know if it really isn't um, yeah thank you so so much and I see you very soon I keep you updated on everything that's gonna happen love Ooh la la.